Hello, welcome to Exotic Ghana UK, you're up to Chris Weekly and on this week's episode we're in March and we're going to be sowing lots and lots of seeds for summer colour and beyond. This pretty much now is the peak time for sowing many many seeds, especially annuals that we're going to have a really good interesting display later on in the year and with exotic annuals you've got so many to choose from so I'm going to go through a few of the seeds that I'm sowing this year and also talk about some other things you might want to sow as well and you may remember last year I sowed absolutely tons of seeds in a compost and it was pretty terrible in my experience where pretty much we got zero germination on any small seeds and then even the big seeds of riciness they really struggled in the compost as well so this year I have chosen a different compost I sow some seeds just seven days ago just to see if anything would germinate and thankfully things have. So the compost I'm using this year, I want something peat free, I want something really good for fine seeds as well as big seeds, is a seed compost called Fertile Fibre. So this is made from coir, so it's organic coir from coconuts and it's mixed in with some vermiculite and it's really fine i've got a bag of it just down here quite a big bag so this is a compost here fertile fiber original seed compost and i've found and it's only been a week that seeds have germinated nice and easily it's nice and fine but it's holding on to the moisture pretty well We've got to see how this goes with bigger seeds and we've got to see how the seeds, seedlings themselves actually develop and see how those seeds, those leaves that come out when we get the true leaves, if they're happy in the compost. Being coir based, it will be very low in nutrients, which is good for seed germination, but they will need feeding in a few weeks time, but we'll get on to that later on. So I'm quite happy because like I said, unlike the last year where pretty much nothing germinated, We've got lots of things germinating just after seven days. So I'll go through some of the seeds that we are sowing this year and there's quite a lot. So we have got lots and lots of aeoniums. So, so far I have sown aeonium suplanum, aeonium arboreum, aeonium canariensis, these are the packets that I got from Mike Clifford. Fantastic selection of seeds. And also loads of selenums and lots of different types. So we've got selenium avicolari, selenium mauritanium, selenium grandiflorum, selenium altopurpureum, which is a really good one that I've grown a few times before, selenium marginatum, selenium which is a really nice one with the furry leaves. We've got Selenium lacinatum, which is also a nice, easy to grow one. Selenium vesiparilio, Selenium pyracanthum, Selenium abutiloids, and what else have we sown? Oh yes, yeah, Selenium chrysocrycum or something like that. So lots of Seleniums, a few Aeoniums, and I've also sown my Cleome. So my Cleome are these spider flowers, really nice, either white, pink or purple flowers, which we get all summer long from mid-July onwards. Really delicate looking and very exotic looking. And you need to sow them pretty early. So end of February into March is ideal. And then they'll establish. And as soon as you plant them out in May, they'll quickly bulk up and start flowering in July. So that's what I sowed last weekend. I've got a few seed trays around, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and you can see a few seedlings coming out, but we've got loads more seeds to sow as well. So, in I've got two Yorkshire tins. In this Yorkshire tin, I've got my seeds. So we've also got loads more, quite a lot from Mike Clifford, a few from Chilton Seeds, and a few from other sources as well. I've just realised I've left all these seeds, unfortunately, on my heat mat there. So they're a bit warm, which is not ideal, but they should still germinate fine. So other ones we're going to 
So our Lobelia tuper, which are fantastic sort of brick, sort of orangey flowers, really nice tubular flowers. But they won't flower this year, or very rarely, it'll be the second and third year they flower. Got Aralia alata, which is a hardy sort of tree with very big, finely cut leaves. And we've got some more Aeoniums. So we've got Aeonium pinatum, Aeonium spaphylatum, Aeonium pseudopicum, Aeonium uh, sedifolium, Aeonium longifysum, Aeonium virginum. Aeonium hirensi, which is a big one. That's, I've got a few actually going into flower over winter at the moment. Aeonium undulatum. So there'll be plenty and plenty, if they all germinate, of aeoniums later on in the year. I've got so many Cleome seeds that I didn't actually sow them all. I've done two full seed trays. Uh, I found, basically I've collected up all the seeds I found around the house as well. So my children bought some Red Hook Poker seeds last year, which we never got around to sowing. And that is a hardy perennial, so I'll sow those. Got some nice calendula. Got loads of echiums. Got echium pinania, which a lot of people lost this winter because it's been, you know, we had a very cold December. So I'll be sowing those. And then, not yet, but in a few weeks' time, so sort of in April, I've got my ricinus. So I've got three lots of ricinus from Chilton Seeds and also a nice zinnia. I like to grow zinnias for the flowers, lots of different colours. Big bold ones that I normally choose, and this type is the um, chrysanthemum flowered mix. So a little bit different. We'll see how they look later in the year. And I think that's it for all the seeds. But I think that's a good thirty plus types of seeds that I'll be growing, and there's a few herbs in there as well. So let's have a look at this compost. So got a seed tray here. I'm going to get some of this compost out. And it feels nice, it's really sort of friable. Got a vermiculite mixed in as well, so hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to fill this tray now. I'm crumbling it up as well just to break it up a bit, because a lot of fine seeds especially don't want big lumps, but to be honest, there's not really any big lumps in this, which is really good. So I'm not going to go right to the top because that's a waste of compost. We just basically want in seeds to germinate. We don't want them to grow or spend too long in the seed tray. And then let's give it a little tap, give it a shake. I'll press it down to get it level. And then I'm going to water it at this stage. I want it moist at this stage so that when I put my very tiny seeds pretty much on the surface, they won't move. They'll have contact with the compost. If I watered it afterwards, as soon as you slosh water everywhere, the seeds all get pushed to the sides and all your germination, you'll see is all at the edges and you'll have nothing in the middle normally. So I'm just going to give this a water in a second. And then we're going to put the seeds on. And most of the seeds, the aeoniums especially, tiny seeds, you won't see them on camera, they're absolutely minuscule little seeds. So I'm just going to sprinkle them on. I'm going to get some vermiculite and just put a little layer of vermiculite on. They're going to go straight onto the heat mat down here. And they're going to stay there basically until germination happens, which might take a week, might take a month. But somewhere in that period, we should see very, very tiny seedlings appear. Now, there are lots of other things you could be growing as well. I've got my aeoniums, got my seleniums. And I'm going to get my cannas going as well today. So lots and lots of cannas to be grown from seed. And like I said, using the boiling water method, you'll easily get cannas germinating in water within sort of two to five days. Lots of things to grow. So I'd be interested to know what you're growing this year, especially if it's something you've grown for the first time, especially if it's a nice colourful annual for the garden. And throughout the season, I'll update you on how germination goes, then we'll do the pricking out, the potting on process, and planting out in the garden. And then for the summer walk around video, you'll see hopefully all the plants at their best in the height of summer. So that's what I'll be carrying on the rest of the day doing. Sowing more seeds, literally got thousands and thousands of cannas to get going. Some in little modules, some in seed trays. 
and then you can catch me on an upcoming video where you can see hopefully things starting to germinate so thank you for watching this edition of exotic Ghana UK join me next week we'll be doing more in the garden